was something else electrical to touch. Does it have juice? What is going on out there? Stop playing around with the equipment and come in. Okay. Not necessary. I've got all the time I need. It's time for another brilliant maneuver, plus or minus ten minutes. Okay, I don't quite get what that's referencing, but hey. Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last. Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo then. In the tavern. You mentioned a tavern. Oh, tavern, Your yes. implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character... The Seems like a code. really bad I idea. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Hmm. Okay, well that seems simple enough. And... Can I steal any of this? Yes! Screwdriver. Let's steal that. <coughs> Chew first. That was a reminder that you are not to poke around in my things. Okay, reminder heard and ignored. Rufus! It's okay! Besides, I've already got your screwdriver. Oh, hello. Okay, don't really know what that does. Hey, you. Who? Me? No, we're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. Monkey Island reference? We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh, yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. News spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. Oh, the Organon is did. planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? Why does it seem obligatory that there has to be an Irish man in any resistance group? And that was Southern Irish accent as well. Whoever designed this pipe displays a refreshing lack of respect for any sense of efficiency. 
Hello? Testing, testing. Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. A comet is approaching the floating black market. I repeat, a comet is approaching the floating black market. In order to avoid panic, you should consider suicide as an option. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Great, now the pipe's closed. But it didn't do me any good. I'd better leave it open. And keep it in the back of my mind, just in case. Okay, obviously that's important then. Purple pipe. What is it this time? I told you, I don't lend stuff to no one. So don't complain when you get a cup of cyanide instead of milk. What the? Who are you? Uh, yes, I'd like a knife. I would like a knife. In your gut or in your eye? You can have both. <laughs> what have you got on offer? My specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors. Holy crap on a cracker. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Ha! Just look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the emphasis on yet! I think I lost my way. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk, that's why! I'll be on my way then. <laughs> I'll, uh, <coughs> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. I'm going to have to bug you again later, aren't I? Okay, I have no idea what that is, but I want it. What amateur installed this? It's in need of realignment. What amateur installed this? It's in need of realignment. Oops. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Don't worry, Rufus. Happens to me as well. That's why I don't fix shit. I feel like I'm being watched. Oh no, I can't while someone's watching. I can't while. Mm. Let's have a nosy down there. Closed, too closed for my taste. Okay, I can't uh, can't get him there. That looks like a tavern. And that looks like a gondolier bloke. Uh, I'm not going to go to a tavern. I need to find the, the gadget shop. Because otherwise I'll take forever to get there. But, oh. And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. Hello there. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait. Let me rephrase Never that. say that phrase. Uh-oh. He hasn't got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna.
Okay, I've just had the shit kicked out of me. Good start, oh. Rufus. Oh. Lots of friendly people here. Uh, maybe I should tone it down a bit. Probably a very good idea. I didn't want to spend the whole game having the shit kicked out of me. Nah, it's really small bait. Nothing like my epic whale bait made from phosphorescent anchovies. Or something? No. I don't want that. Nah, it's really small bait. Nothing like. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah, stick my hand in. Ow! Got me a hook. Let's have me a bucket. Yoo-hoo! Scram! You're scaring the fish. Uh, but shoot! A boring guy with an even more boring hobby. You who again? Scram! You're scared. I'm very, very. That's beside the point. Have you ever seen ears on a fish? Most important thing about fishing is fisherman's luck. If you're a fisherman, you know that. Uh, but shoot! You who again? Just get. What if I want to fish here too? I'm not buying that. You ain't no fisherman. Just look at you. And you're obviously missing the obligatory fisherman's luck. What if I prove to you that I am a fisherman? <laughs> I'd like to see that. Well, you will. Fine. And now, shoot. Okay, I'm obviously going to have to prove I'm some kind of fisherman at some stage. You who again? Just get. What if I want it? I'm not. Uh, and you what if I prove? <laughs> I like. Well, you w fine. And now. Yeah. Okay. Let's move this way. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course. We currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. A lollipop? So which brand do you prefer? Why is there a dude inside that robot's head? Okay, obviously I've got to deal with dialogue first. That's bizarre. Okay, uh, I will have me some Platinum Proof Professional. Um. Oh, Rufus, you're going to pick the cheap one, aren't you? Yeah, there's the lollipop. And those pop. are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Hang on a minute. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? Mm -hmm. I'm fairly certain <laughs> industrial saws should not be used for delicate surgery. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Rufus? Uh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. 
Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Guess who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé? Or his cheap imitation? Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. Okay, obviously something hasn't gone... well. <laughs> she seems to be pretty mad. No shit. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Just a touch. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. The industrial Some soul? information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of Goal? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of Goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to go. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find goal. And persuade her. All three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right. Here we go. Now... I know this is all meant to be very sci-fi and everything, but the idea of writing your entire memory onto a floppy disk cartridge just seems a little bit stupid to me, considering all the problems we've been having. Especially when you have a bit of pink organic matter, which does the job a lot better and is less prone to being accidentally deleted. I'm just saying, that just makes sense to me. Oh uh, well, here we go. Remote control, then. It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye 